Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how to make these slides using videos to make my slides more creative. So without further ado, let's get started. So in this example I used a video to define the animation of my texts. And for this one I started by changing the color of the background to black and now I'm gonna insert some text and this presentation is about Sherlock Holmes so I'm just gonna write the mysteries of Sherlock Holmes however I'm gonna split it in different text boxes so for the first one I just uh, put the words the mysteries of and then duplicate that with uh, holding control on your keyboard and dragging your mouse down and then just replacing the text so in this case I put the word Sherlock which is uh, the word that I will actually animate and then I just added the word Holmes at the end. Now I'll insert a rectangle on top of the word that I'm gonna animate which in this case will be Sherlock and I'm gonna select both of them uh, the rectangle and the text box and I'm gonna go to shape format click on merge shapes and then click on intersect and here I'll remove the outline and I'll change the color to a dark gray and for the rest of the text I'm gonna change the color as well and I'm gonna match the same color that I used for my first word which is this dark gray now this video is not sponsored by them but I actually really like it so it's called Pexels and you just go to pexels.com click on videos and here I looked for a thunderstorm and I'm gonna use this video so you just have to download it click on download and then your downloads will appear here so you just click on showing folder and here you'll find the file and you just have to drag it into PowerPoint to insert it. Now I'm gonna click on align, align to center and align to middle so it's perfectly centered in the composition and then I'm gonna right click on it and send to back and here you'll see that the video is already playing on the back. So now right click format video to get this panel here and here I'm going to change the color to grayscale so now you can see that it's already gray and I'm going to decrease the brightness and increase the contrast to make it a little bit more dramatic. Now let's select the word that we're going to animate so in this case the word is Sherlock go to animations and click on color pulse. Now let's click on the animation pane let's remove this one right here so right click remove and the first one we're going to change it to start with previous and this one we're going to change it to start with previous as well but we're going to go to the effect options here i'm going to change the duration to 0 0.2 and repeat three times and now we have like this blinking effect let's add a delay from timing here let's select 0.2 and now that animation will play 0.2 seconds after the start of the video so it's just a matter of matching those timings of the animation with the thunders from the video and we'll add the same animation for the rest of the thunders so just click on add animation then click on color pulse and here from the settings we're gonna change again the duration to 0.2 uh, start with previews, repeat two or three times depending on the duration of your thunder and we're going to change the delay to one second. So now that second animation will play one second after the start of the video and we'll just continue building the animation depending on the amount of thunders that you have in your video. So it's exactly the same process, add animation, color pulse, change the duration, change the repeat and continue adding delays and the delays will vary depending on your video so it's just a matter of trial and error but that's essentially how I made this slide using PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. 
Now for the second one, I used a gradient feel for the background. So right click format background here. I'm just picking this direction for the gradient and I'm going to change the colors to red and black. And if you move them closer, you'll be able to adjust the gradient. So I'm just playing around with the handles here. Then just go to Google and look for an old TB PNG. And to download it, you just have to click on the image. And sometimes you'll get these annoying ads, but here you'll find a download button. So just click on it and the download starts automatically. And then just click on show in folder and you'll see the file and you'll be able to drag it into the composition. So now I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to center it in the slide. You can do that with a line, a line to center and a line to middle. And then if you right click on it and select format picture, you get the format picture panel here where you'll be able to change the color. So I'm going to change it to grayscale. Then go back to Pexels on your browser, click on Videos, and here I'll look for TV Noise. And you'll get a bunch of options. And you can, if you put your mouse on it, you'll be able to kind of see what it looks like. And in this case, I think I'm going to go with this one. So I just click on Free Download. And again, if you drag it into your slide, you'll be able to insert it. And now I'm just going to zoom out so I can make the video a little bit smaller. Then click on video format and click on crop and just crop it so that the visible area fits within the screen of your TV and then right click and send to back. And I'm actually going to make it a little bit larger because I think it was a little bit too small. And then I'm going to insert a rectangle shape and I'm going to put it on top of the screen. I'm going to change the color to black and remove the outline and then right click and send to back. Then I'm going to look for the shining logo which is one of my favorite movies and to see if it's a PNG when you click it you'll be able to see like this checkerboard thing so you just right click on the image copy image and then paste it into your slide and I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna put it right here with the image selected go to animations click on fade and we're going to click on the animation pane. Now select the first element here. So basically you are selecting the video. You're going to click on add animation and click on fade out and you'll get this new element here. So now let's remove the last one. Right click remove. For the first one right click start with previous and for the second one right click start with previous as well. But for this one, we're going to right click and go to the effect options, click on timing and then add a delay. So in this case, I selected 0 0.4 and then right click on the last element and start with previous. So now the video will play for 0.4 seconds before the logo appears. But if you want the video to play a little bit longer, you just have to delay a little bit more the animation. So maybe pick one second or 1.5 seconds. And that's pretty much how I did this slide. Now for the third one, we're going to use a video as a background and we're going to add some fun animations. So first, we're going to insert an arc. Hold shift on your keyboard for it to be perfect. And then let's change the width of the stroke to be a little bit thicker. So maybe about three points or something like that. And from the format shape panel, we're going to select gradient line. We're going to get rid of these handles in the middle and we're just going to leave 
two of them one of them is going to be white and the other one is going to be black it really doesn't matter the order and now we're going to copy and paste it ctrl c ctrl v we're going to go to shape format and click here on rotate and flip vertical and flip horizontal now we're going to select both of them holding shift on your keyboard and we're going to align it to center and align it to the middle with both of the elements selected click ctrl g to group and then we're going to go to animations and click on spin and then we're going to go to the animation pane right click on this element here effect options and go to timing and click on five seconds and then repeat until the end of the slide so now this animation is going to play until we move to the next slide then i'm going to add some text here so i'm going to pick the font montserrat and i'm going to put a quote um, so in this case this slide will be about the man on the moon so i'll just add this super famous quote by neil armstrong and now i'll go back to pexels to download this video that it's of the earth seen from the moon um, and i'm just gonna insert it into my slide by dragging it from my files and then right click and send to back here I'm gonna change the color to grayscale and I'm gonna decrease the brightness because I want it to look like um, like a, some, something like a watermark or something like that. Like I don't want it to be um, like super, super in your face. And with the crop button here, you can make it larger, you can make it smaller and just reposition it wherever you want it. So here I'm just aligning it to the animation that we already have. And then from the animation pane, right click start with previous on this element and this one uh, we can remove it. So now if you click on play all, everything will be happening at the same time. The video will start playing and the animation will start playing as well. And that's it guys, that's how you can add videos to your slides to make them look a little bit more interesting. And remember that you can download all of my free slides from lurutiappt.com. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and to follow me on Instagram, on TikTok at lurutiappt. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you on my next video.